Hello guys, welcome back to AITechOne.com. My name is Swamit and I'm here with my new video in Salesforce integration. So today we will be going to see that how can we integrate Salesforce with YouTube and we can display the results on LWC components. So basically the idea behind this, we'll create a new LWC component in Salesforce. And through that LWC components, we will be going to make a search on YouTube APIs. Before I begin this session, don't forget to like, subscribe our YouTube channel to get the updates on uh, the latest videos on Salesforce. So let's begin guys. And uh, in order to configure a relation integration between Salesforce and YouTube, you have to complete few of the activities. Number one, you should have the Salesforce developers account. Number two, you need to register a YouTube API or you need to get an API key, YouTube API key in order to integrate. And third, because we are going to set up LWC component, so you need an editor. Either you can use Visual Studio Code or you can use an online code builder. So let's begin. So first of all, I'll just show you that how can you set up a YouTube, how can you get a YouTube API key? And in order to do this, you need to visit console.cloud.com or basically it's a, a developer's code, Google code. You have to visit this URL, console.cloud.google.com. You can visit here. Then you have to create a new projects. So if you have already done projects earlier on cloud, on Google cloud, then it's okay. Otherwise you have to create a new project. So you can create a new project, click here in order to start a new project. So in my case, I have already created a project name as YouTube integration. And in this YouTube integration, once you click on YouTube integration, or once you create a new project, you need to click on credentials. Before creating credentials, you have you need to click on Enabled API Services. And from here, you have to search. You have to check if it is already configured. Then click on Libraries. And from the Libraries, search, look for YouTube. So you have to click on YouTube API 3. YouTube API 3. So in my case, I have already used this. Like you can say it's already API enabled. When you will be doing this very first time, you have to enable this or you have to create a project and add this library in your project. Once it is done, once you add it in your project, the next step is you need to get the API key and for that, we'll go to credentials and create a new credentials. You have to click here in order to create a new credentials. And when you click on create a credential, then you have to click API key. And when you click API key, it will create a new API key for you. So in my case, as you can see, it's going to create a new API key, but I will be So you can use any API key, but I will be using this API key in my example. So I'm not looking, I'm not using this one. So let me delete this one because I'm not going to use it right. So API key, uh, API two key, I'm deleting it. I will be using API key one, which I have, which I created earlier for this example. So this is a step you have to configure. You have to finish in Google Cloud. Step number one. Next, you need to visit Salesforce. Okay, you need to visit your Salesforce org, and in the Salesforce org, this is what I'm looking for. This will be the. This is how the final product looks like. And in the Salesforce final product, as you can see, I got a, this is LWC component where we got a search bar. And when we type in any, when we type in a letter, when we type in a state, uh, like search key, search statement and click on search video on YouTube, we'll get the details about it. So as you can see, I, I just searched Salesforce name credential by AI Tech one and it gives me a list of videos here the AI, by AI Tech one, by AI Tech one. I can get this. Now, in order to, uh, set it, set this up. First step we have already done. The next step is we need to create, we need to set up a remote site setting in Salesforce. 
So the remote site setting details will be this. You have to create a new remote site setting, name as YouTube API, and the remote site URL will be HTTPS www.googleapis.com. So this remote site setting you have to set. So I've already set this for in my in my uh, integration. Now it's time to create a new LWC component, and uh, I have already created and deployed an LWC component with Google with YouTube integration, YouTube API integration. I will be going to explain you the code, and then I'll just drop the code URL in the description, so you can access the link from there. So the very first step is we need to create one API class, and this is my API class. So you can see I've created one API class name as YouTube API class. Here I set the search URL as the endpoint googleapis.com slash YouTube slash version C slash search. And there is another variable I create as the API key. And here I paste my API key, which we retrieved from the Google Cloud. Then I created a function name as get YouTube video, and this function is going to return the list of wrapper. So before this, I created a I created a wrapper class, and this wrapper class is going to return the video ID, description, thumbnails, titles, channel title, and publish ad. So these are the details. These are the details we will be going to display here. As you can see, by and if I'll just open uh, this, if you see the image, the title by channel and the detailed description. So the in order to in order to uh, in order to fetch these details, we created these variables in this inner wrapper class, and I set them as at the rate all at the rate or enable because we'll be going to access inner components. Then I declare the I create a class which is going to return list of wrapper and this function takes contains one string variable name as search key. And this is the code I set. Search key is equal to search key null question mark sales for search. If we if it is null, then it is blank. Otherwise, it will be going to refer as search. So if the search key is blank, then it is the by default it is it will search for sales for. Otherwise, it will search for the key we we entered here. HTTP is equal to new HTTP request. We create a request and response variable and we set the endpoint. We endpoint method get and we made a request. And once the request will be made. We need to do the deserialization, and for deserialization, I created one YouTube result class. And in this YouTube result class, we'll be going to pass the details in here, and uh, response, page info, item, ID, snippet, and thumbnails. So basically, in this YouTube result class, the the, the purpose of this YouTube result class is to extract the details which is returned which is uh, which is uh, returned by the youtube api in in a json format so with the help of this we fetch the details this is for deserialization purpose so whatever is the response what kind of response that is etag next page token previous page token page info and items then page info we get the total results in the result page item kind etag snippet id ID, kind and video, uh, video ID, and then snippet, published app, channel ID, title, description, thumbnails, channel title, live broadcast content. Uh, we can get other details also. I haven't added that like and comments, total number of comments. We can fetch those details as well, and we can display the details in a, uh, in a as a separate box or as a separate output. And this class I fetch here. Basically, I just uh, I just create an instance of this class response. And whatever the deserialization response, whatever deserialization will be doing, that will be stored into response. And then we fetch the details, and we, just, uh, as you can see, we pass the details into items, and we iterate on that item object, and we map it with these videos ID, description, thumbnails, title, in, with the help uh, the the variables of this wrapper class. And finally, we return the wrapper class here. So basically, this will return the search, and the maximum result we have put it here twenty. So it will return only twenty items. We can reduce or increase the numbers, or we can remove this also maximum result if we don't want. So we can remove or uh, reduce or increase the numbers. So these are the two. These are the two FX classes I declare. Then it's time to create a component 
so this is my youtube lwc html so this is my lwc component and my html file and that's the code and here what i have done first of all we have to dis uh, we have to display in the center the size and image source so for this image basically this image is used to display this option as you can see that code is going to display this information youtube search youtube search for that youtube search for that so we display that image and the youtube search as you can see next next is uh we created a division and in this division we create one input for input and a button so that this input and button is for this one in order for search as you can see we got an input box and a button so in order to get input and to provide a button to the user to make a search so this division we added within this lighting card in the next lighting card we display the results and uh, we we write a template basically in order to iterate on the final results which we will be going to retrieve after we call after we make an api call and we iterate on that to display the names then for the next division we display the details and we put it into iframe in order to display the search video as you can see view url and in order to display all the records so for example this one i'm talking about in order to see this is for the this is for a particular one and here you can see in the second one we have displayed all the videos we have searched this one the the videos we we find, uh, we uh, we find out based on this related to this so we just we just added here listed out here so this is the code for that this code will help you for that this template and finally we close this uh, uh, we finally close the span and division and lighting card now uh, the important portion is the js class and in this js class what we did search input handle search now let's have a look what we have written in the our controller class so in the js controller class what i did i create a track and i just add a reference for my apex class apex controller class declare variables final results final error search input video results view url search input that's a default value i enter salesforce name credentials just in case if we don't enter anything this will be the default value for that salesforce name credentials connected callback and connected callback you know that this function will be going, this function get invoked when any lwc component entered into a dom and it is going to call the handle submit search by default so handle submit search is the function which is going to make a call to the apex function for retrieving the results so initially when we load our component this is going to call this handle submit search and we can call this function later as well when we click on a, when we actual click on a button and the handle search we set the search input then in the handle submit search i just write here in the handle submit search we just write get youtube videos we just pass the parameters get youtube videos now as you can see here in get youtube videos we have to pass a value to this and that's what we are doing here we are passing the input and we are retrieving the results if it is okay results will populate it otherwise through an error message and i added one watch video also here to current target day and this is the selected video in order to display the uh, the, the current video and in the video iframe display the video iframe so this is how we added a code we we are we, we write our js class and finally in the meta xml i just place this component on uh, app page home page record page and utility bar locations so finally we just save all and we deploy this whole component including the classes so i'm just going to deploy the complete component and once the deployment is done once the deployment will be completed we will be able to get the result so let's have a look when i refresh when i refresh my component you can see that's a default value salesforce name credentials and uh, if i just write salesforce name credentials by ai tech 1 and click on search video on youtube it will search for it will search, it see that that video get displayed here and not only display the video but we can watch on video youtube or we can 
preview that. Now, for example, I want to see this one. So I click on Salesforce REST API integration and this video will display here. And when we click, this video will run, as you can see. Get it? Here. So you can see it's working perfectly fine. Like this way, we can create, uh, we can create a LWC component in order to integrate our Salesforce with YouTube for search the video. So if you want to see the details of any videos about any videos. So that's the step we can use to integrate. So that's all in this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe our channel. You can write your comments in comment box. You can reach out to us at info at the .com, or you can directly call us on the given numbers. I hope you like this video. Keep watching. Thanks, everyone. Bye.